embellishments. Um, this is just a little bit of what I did. I took that owl graph and I just, you know, changed it up a little, added a little background, the um, text. I added a text with a name. Um, I'm not finished. I figured, you know, let me add a little bit more. So I'm going to take um, this butterfly and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to open it up in another grid and I'm gonna graph that real quick now the area where I want it is probably on the branch so I'm gonna crop it a little bit and once I crop it I'm gonna graph it it's going to be we don't need that because it's only one color so I'm gonna put five and the size I'm gonna put like maybe 30 Let's see how that looks. Um, yeah, I could do about like maybe 35. And see how that looks. Yeah, we don't, I'm not going to make it too, too much, too fancy. This is just for an example. Um, do that real quick. So here I'm going to take off the white because I do not use white. You cannot cut and paste. Um, with the background, you have to always take the background off, um, because when you take the background, when you leave the background on, it will tend to keep that background, and when you cut and paste to your other grid, it's going to show, and you don't want that to show, so always clear your background. Now, I'm just... Like I said, I'm doing this real quick. It's not nothing too much. I will probably put more thought into it, but like I said, this is going to be real quick. I'm going to copy. I'm going to minimize that, pull up my grid, and then I'm going to paste. You click paste. And you can put it anywhere you want. So I'm thinking maybe right here. Right here. It could be anywhere you want. It could be anywhere. Um, I'm thinking also maybe if I don't want it there. I don't like it there. So I'm thinking maybe also um, adding a crown to my owl it could be anything you want anything you want just play around with it that's your embellishment and then you know that that's what you're going to do for the owl the um claw is for you to practice more on your um the claws to practice on your unconnected lines and the owl is so that you could start improvising because by the next lesson you that's all you're going to be doing is improvising you're not going to be doing anything else except for improvising so this is like i said i'm just playing around you could add a sun you can um, maybe add more text. You could put a quote. You could do whatever your heart desire with this. It does not matter. Just do something creative. Do not leave it plain. It Your grade depends on it. So whatever creativity you put into this owl is dependent on your grade. Make sure there's no unconnected lines. Make sure your text is nice and clear. There's no unconnected lines in there. I showed you how to merge to the background and how to edit it and how to fix it. So read, watch videos if you need. And if you have a question, you can ask a question. But please read before you ask the question because a lot of the information is already on there. I just showed you how to cut and paste. So you should know how to cut and paste now. So a lot of things are self-explanatory and use your brain. That's all. Have a good night, folks.